This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time to begin the international A license section. I'm going out of order this time because I have my boy Mikhail here with me tonight because uh, he is a Mr. Super GT fanboy. And I have Arthur too, my DNA two show teammate. All right, so Super GT 300 Championship, a race event that brings together the cars of the GT 300 class, which includes yesteryear's contenders from the All Japan GT Championship, along with today's unique Super GT vehicles. This is a hard fought battle over five challenging rounds. So we have Deep Forest, Fuji Speedway F, Suzuka Circuit, 20 Montego Road Course, and Nurburgring Grand Prix DTM, which is an interesting choice. So I'm going to use the best GT300 car of all time, even though technically this is not a GT300 car, uh, it's close enough. We're going to be using the 2009 Toyota Prius Touring Car. Oh dear. Well, actually, oh, actually, God. Actually, 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 hold up. It actually makes sense, though. It does make sense. Well, yes, because uh, it's a racing Prius, but um, it's not yeah. quite the same. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. What color is the is the car in real life? Uh, right now it's either yellow or red. Right now. So yellow or red? Yeah, cause that, cause that's the current um like the cars for the the 2020 generation of the uh, Prius. What do I get? Yellow or red? Which one should I get, um, guys? I'll I'll let um I'll I'll let uh, Tushu decide. Mm. Yellow. Yellow? Perfect. Alright, cool. I don't know if I have a Toyota yellow, but I don't fucking care. It's a damn Prius. What number is the yellow one anyways, Mikko? Uh, let me check real quick. Let me get my quick Wikipedia thing out of the way. Alright. Prius. Yellow. Okay, we'll just get regular yellow. I got yeah. it, I got it. Let me, let me get the, the number real quick. It is... Do, 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 do. Um, it is number... 30. It's a 30? It's 30. Yes, 30. There you go. Uh, what color are the rims? Uh, rims are... Okay, hold on. Do, 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 do. We can literally paint those right now. Wait, yeah, the, really? The okay. wheels, they are like... Gray? Uh, silver. Graf they're, they're, they're silver or gray, depending on what you yeah, like. Yeah, like a graphite. Well, yeah, I just, I, like just, I just did like a silver metallic, because I, I... Yeah. <laughs> Screw it. All right, yeah, I know. It's enough. <laughs> I know for sure we're gonna need power on this thing because this car is not as quick as the GC 300s But um, yeah, we're definitely gonna need power on this car. Well, you can yeah. NASCAR fan, but um, you can pretty much put any music you want as long as it's on the PS3 hard drive. But um, I don't do custom music. I just um have whatever is in the game because I like Type B and it's number thirty. So I would do seventy six, but yeah, this is like as close as we're gonna get to having a um the Prius GT300 car, which uh, doesn't exist in this game. All right, what can we do to this car? Stage three power. Okay, that's that's it. Is that all we really can do to this car? Fuck. Really? Yeah, we can't do much to yeah. it. Oh my God, <laughs> this is gonna be bad. You know we're already losing already. Don't say that, have some optimism, fucker. Oh, we could change the oil. Oh well. Yeah, if anything, if everything goes wrong, we have the CRZ that also raced on GT300 a few years point. ago. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Thank you, John. Thank you for following me on Twitter. Appreciate it, man. So All right, so we we have a C West Sylvia the Arm I'm in Mia and we have the Garaya in here, dude. We have literally a stacked field and in the Prius. <laughs> oh, fuck and me. two Cusco Impreza behind you. Yep. Can we? Okay. Hards are the hardest. Oh, that's the softest compound we can literally do. Also, survive by um, Daiki Kasha is playing now, since we're in these events. Alrighty, the force it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, I just say to re remove all the rear ring just for <laughs> a little help. Not much, but something. Oh fuck, we're already getting outclassed on the straightaway. Oh, <laughs> to no. that. <laughs> this is bad. This is so bad. <laughs> I kind of say no. You may have gears. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was literally trying to go for the paddle and like, I forgot this is an automatic. Actually, in the corners is not bad, and I think the extra power is helping slightly. You can't play on Man. controller? Uh, I mean, it's all preference. Like, I play on wheel just because I'm better with a wheel, except GTs 1 through 3, I have to play with a controller, because GTs 1 and 2, they're literally meant for controller, and then GT3, well, it's meant for driving the driving force, like the OG wheel, which is just 200 degrees of rotation. I don't know how hey, much... Sorry, go ahead. 
At least you're passing a few cars. Or In the corners. Yeah. It's a four-lap race, I and I, I need to pass that. people. I love that. I love GT three hundred. Dude, it was it. Dude, GT the JAF cars in general are just really badass. Like, I know we'll never see them at Le Mans or or IMSA or whatever, but like, dude, I wish they raced outside of Japan. So I wouldn't yeah, have same. to go to Japan to see a BRZ or or a yeah. Prius. I wanted GT Sport to have some of these cars as uh, GT three hundred, uh, GT Group Three cars actually. And, and yeah, that RX-7 did last up to 2009. You um, actually had a pretty long lifetime for that team. Yeah. And then it, I think it just, I don't, I don't know what they did. They probably just don't think it's, they want to race it or they, it's just, it just runs its course. Cause it's an old RX-7 that they use. Well, I was going to say that. I mean, like rotor relevancy, I, I, it, it's pretty much gone. Cause you know, RX-7 is yeah. discontinued in what, in 2002? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, and the RX-8 was discontinued, already discontinued since like 2012, I guess. I don't recall exactly the year. Oh yeah, by the way, NASCAR fan, uh, they also race in Taiwan as well. Yeah, dude, that... And and they race fucking Auto Club Speedway, man. Like, I, 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 I still can't believe that. Like, in 2004, if I had known at the time that was a thing, dude, I probably would have gone. I only know one person who actually saw JGTC in person, and that was Elmer, the founder of Simple. Um, Simple LA, the, the hat I always wear. Or For those who follow the channel, like, if you notice my sponsor, Simple Los Angeles, which is not really my sponsor, they're just my, that's my homie's clothing brand. I, I flashes that everywhere in Gran Turismo Sport. Um, yeah, he, his dad works somewhere in the auto industry. I forget what he does. Probably, like, I forget, probably like parts guy or something for some company. But point is, is that because he has he had access to going to the race, he went to the race and saw JGTC in person. I was like, for one, for one, for a one off, man. Oh. And, and you and you would point for this. I actually have diecast from that uh, race, or it's not diecast, but because of that ra that uh, 2004 uh, season, they did diecast this for the. Um, I believe it was what is this? I think. Action uh, Diecast made this, and they made uh, a series of, of Super GT Diecast. Wait, really? Is... Yeah, I, I have two. Of, I have two of my home right now. I have the uh, Dakota Dome SX and the uh, Supra, the SO. Wait, from that year in particular? Uh, from 2003, but they had this. They have the um, the schedule on the back, and it includes the California Speedway race. Ooh, Hosky, what's Ooh. up, dude? In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, I could part with one of those if you want. Bro, there's a dude on Instagram that I follow. I'll, t I'll send you guys a profile later. He sells sure. like as from Japan and he ships worldwide. I just want to buy them all. <laughs> Wait, is that the one you always tag me for like giveaways? Yeah, I have yes. like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nice. I could probably just he... find a post. Yeah, and he also sells his some of his die, the diecast that he managed to buy in duplicate or triplicate. I switched to bumper cam because I need to catch the leaders. Dude, you're hauling. Yeah. Engage serious gaming mode. You've been touched <laughs> by glory. What this? The Prius? Oski, I look. I'm an idiot when it comes to car choices and casual GT playthroughs because. Why not? That's like the beauty of these games, the older ones in particular. Oh. So like, why not use something fun and fun and wacky? I still remember the time when you raced the. Uh, oh, Can Super GT at Circuit des Americas would be amazing. Ooh. Yo, they, they probably would do that. They probably would do that. It's either that, or Road America. Oh uh, they, my God, dude! GT 500s at Road America would just be bashing insane. It is. Imagine they doing the carousel from Road America. Ooh. Oh man. Dude, thinking about it right now, God, man. I swear those machines are like the top tier of like GT racing. Fuck, we have mm -hmm. one more lap we could have won, but they have uh, LMP2 speed, considering cornering and stuff. Shit. Damn, you were close. Yeah. One more lap we would have had them. The only place that they would be totally beaten is La Soft because the. Class one cars they produce a lot of drag, so 
they don't match the characteristics of Le Mans. So you lost to a Gera and a uh, RX-7, which is ain't not bad. Too... Yeah. Yeah. That is, that is a very stacked field, considering. And given D-Force is, well, I say it's not really a high-speed circuit, but compared compared to, like, the other cars, it's kind of high-speed for the for the Prius in comparison. Like, yeah, yeah not bad. I think oh, if God. you trim down the downforce and maybe the gears, you can catch them no the gears will stay as it is the downforce no no yeah the downforce we have to because we're at fuji now oh yeah you, you're screwed now you're officially screwed <laughs> i'm sorry I'm even oh so uh 125 i want to say and then for the rear let's do 300 so like 25 percent i will go with 200 on the rear ring fuck it yeah. And on the front, you do 100? No, no, no. Keep as it is. 125? Alright, fuck it. YOLO. 90s Fuji? Yeah, 90s Fuji was cool. 90s Fuji was so amazing. I'm, I wish they kept that track. Just change the... The off tracks. The, maybe change the curve of the chains and kind of stuff. But kept oh, that layout. Uh, for no. me, it was amazing. Oh, what is this? Mm. What is this? It's all right, dude. The the um, lower downforce is helping us stay like and keep up with the arc seven in, in the toe. I just kind of argy barge my way, but that's okay. I got the suck, cool. and we're good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But GT five and six, oh, I yeah, always yeah. set my cars with. Minimal to zero rear downforce. Oh, that's right. There was grass there. N not anymore. There's grass there at this time, so I I can't <laughs> I can't go in the grass in that point. I thought it was gonna be just <laughs> runoff. Fuck. Oh I'm yeah. By the way, um, I'm, I and by the way, chat. Do not spoil this. Well, uh, just for my sake as well. Have you seen the last race of the uh, Super GT season yet? I have. Yes, I have. Yes. That was fucking insane, dude. That was so, one of the best races of the dude. Uh, of the year, period. Of the year. Just in, in <laughs> more sports in general, dude. Like, that I, race... I'd say one of the best races in, in the last 10 years. Dude, for 2020... That's both soon, but... Okay, that, me. that race, Sakir was... Like, Sakir Grand Prix was amazing. Uh, for IndyCar, I would say, like, Road America Race 2 with the battle between Award and Rosenquist was amazing. Um, dude, there was a lot of good racing this year. Yeah. Too bad nobody this could watch. Gave us Amazing races, considering everything. Okay, that, last, that, last race of, that, that last that last race of Fuji, holy hell! I, here's what I think initially. Come I on. thought that that's, I thought that that super got it, but then all of a sudden it just slowed down, and I'm like, wait, what? And no I'll... spoilers. Petit. No spoilers. <laughs> Petit was amazing too, Dan. Dude, that final lap was was freaking crazy. Not final lap, but um, the ending was crazy, dude. With oh my god. Okay, Pretty Pretty Lima. Move, yeah. Move, Dude. please. Thank you. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, what is this? Oh my god. Oh, you're just gonna. Oh my god, you just. But yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Not Proud of boxer. When when that race happened, I was watching with a few of my buds, in one of the Discord servers, and we were screaming at that end of that race. I was like, holy hell. Wait for Super no, GT I, I, or for Petit? Super GT. Oh, okay. I was, oh, for Super GT, I was like, okay, I'm watching, and I, ah, I'm feeling asleep, and I, I was like, I, I'll watch the rest of the race later because I already know the result. And then when I wake up, I watch this, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you should you should have just watched the whole thing, man. Bro, I Actually, was better. I was better than staying awake. <laughs> I'm going to say I'm gonna say this right now for oh, everyone that is... Sorry, everyone, Max. Sorry. What, what, what happened? Oh, I, I, I completely slammed into the back of the Garaya. Oh, yeah, there, there is a new Super BRZ now, and I've seen pictures of the GT300 car right now. So Yeah, it's it's beautiful, the new BRZ, the new BRZ GT300. Appar apparently, everyone's doing their car uh, review, like, you know, cars, uh, showing their cars at Fuji, because I've seen that, and I've seen Good Small during their livery, um, uh, livery, livery stuff there. Probably taking advantage of the fact they did the last race there. Speaking of final races, 
the final race for Super Formula as well. I didn't, oh, that was a good. That I was didn't a good race, see, by the way. Uh, wait, was this Suzuka? Or no, it was Fuji. Oh, okay. Fuji. The last Super Formula race I watched was that um, the one with the big accident, dude. Oof. On the straightaway, yeah, that, was a, that was insane, yeah. bro. Like. Yeah. No, no. The I'm speaking about the season finale. That was a good finale as well. Who won the championship? Was it Cassidy? Uh, no, no it Yamamoto. Was, uh, Yamo, Yamamoto. Oh. So, Yon, so Yamamoto has two championships in one year. Yeah. He uh, did, again? He, he, yeah, he has two doubles. Dude, Jesus Christ. He's basically the, one of the most underrated Japanese drivers I've probably known. For of. sure, man. Yamamoto, dude, Yamamoto is an amazing driver. If Yamamoto dude. was 10 years younger, he'd be in F1 today. Well, yeah. With his driving, his driving style, he, definitely. Well, at least we got a Japanese driver in Japan and for yeah, uh, F1. My, yeah, only so fear with Suno- My only fear for Sonoda is the fact that, like, not necessarily like moving up too quickly, but it's just like the pressures of Red Bull in general, like like the yeah. overall characteristics of the team and the program exactly. in general. Exactly. I think Sonoda could do one more year just for polishing and going for the title, uh, all guns blazing, but it's not bad either for him to go to F1. It's like, uh, could have spent one more year, would be able to polish himself a bit more, get more used, but he already, but he already just did enough to move up. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we're getting close to the front of the pack. We just need... Um, if the ARC-7 wins, that'll actually be pretty good for the points, but um, if this MRS can catch up to me, I can get his draft down the straightaway, that will help us a little bit for the end. Come on, dude. He's just weaving left and right. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, uh, sad, was it Sab Racer? I'm trying to look for results for the last race. Uh, okay, Max, I gotta push. Cheetah. So, let me do that. That's the thing, I keep forgetting this car has no power, so like, I just need to actually mash the throttle when I come out of the corner. <laughs> come on, I can do this. I can maybe win. I don't fuck this up. Uh, Mashita and finished... If you want to know the results from uh, Matashita, uh, Sab, it's oh, uh, third, third place. Oh, he's a Japanese Nesca fan. Good to know uh, that. Th By the way, third place for Matashita, Oh, that's so sick, uh, dude. There you go. <laughs> I have really become the moving chicane. Dude, that's basically, <laughs> that's basically my presence in the top split in GT Sport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was to the in my... <laughs> uh... In my in my manufacturer final final race, I was literally in the final two laps of being a movie. She came to everyone because <laughs> I was saving fuel and trying to keep the place, but I failed. Oh come on, come on! If we can get second, that'd be awesome. That'd be good points. Struggle with fuel. The struggle bus. <laughs> All aboard the struggle bus! Come on. <laughs> Oh man, you got. Oh man. Dude, again, the story of one more lap and I would have had them. Oh, there's no horn on this car. I can't honk the horn. Fuck. <laughs> Damn Look it. at the front of the car. Look at the front of the car. It looks absolutely blistered. Fuck. No. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Come oh, on. Man. You can't do the Flintstone strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Just shuffle my feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh hey, raid. Ender. We raid. We have a raid. <laughs> raid, 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 raid. What's up, Ender? Um, what were you streaming today? I didn't know you were streaming right now, dude. I saw your Twitter update, which... Okay, so we're by, behind by um, 55 points? Not too bad. Okay. Race three. We need to, We need to win. Yeah. Oh, nice. I think about the, the oh, remaining nice. races. Nice, nice, nice. You were born in, uh, was it Nagaoka? But after the earthquake, yeah, that sucks, dude. Yeah. Dude, that earthquake ah. really, like, fucked things up for so much of the country. Suzuka, okay. Yeah. We should be able to win Suzuka because it is a lot more technical. A yeah. lot more corners. So, 200, uh, 200? 200, 200. No, 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 no. no. 
no, 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 no. Downforce Only makes add... no difference to this car, honestly. And it's slow, so we need all the speed we can get. Staying in Japan is no And also road another track. consequence from, from the earthquake was the death of the oval at Ring Motegi. Oh, yeah. Well, so far, I don't know. Well, can you do something at least? I mean, it's right now it's still like a, what's it called? A parking lot, technically? Yeah, it's a parking lot for the I mean, racer there. And if you, if you see like the Super GT and Super Formula races, or I think even more GP for that matter, if you look in the background of the starts, you see like a lot of cars in the oval. Well, I think the only time the oval was used for any on-track activity was like the Honda Festival, right? Yeah, and yeah, and it's a, and it's very sketchy because imagine being like say like Takuma Sato, right, going around oval with a um, a Indy car, and you're going to, like past like so much cracks on the ground because Dude, of the earthquake. The freaking video that someone shot of Sato going with his Indy 500 with a DW12, which was faster than the IR05 that they used. Oh fuck! Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, wet sport. Um way faster than the IRO5 we were running, dude. Just all the speed he was carrying in the straight and then just seeing the sparks fly, I'm just like, holy shit, that's super sketchy. Yeah. yeah. And it was just a yeah, demo and... run. That's the only, not only your only win, but her, uh, it was a real one, but still it's a win. Come on. We're up to 10th, which is good, but not enough. Okay. So I have some. I have a funny oh, okay, story. Okay, so let's find IRL and Coffee were the two premier uh, open wheeler series at the United States at the time. Oh, it so happened. Andrew... Hold on. Oh, sorry. sorry, don't cut it. Go ahead, Arthur. Sorry. Yeah, in the mid nineties, there was only one. I guess it was caught, but after political issues, it happened that split and. With that front cut, we had the the bond of IRL, and for a period of time, we had two two racing leagues in the United States with open wheelers. Yep, and um, it caused too much divide amongst the fans. So, like all the good drivers and teams were in one series, and then the prestigious Indy 500 was with the other series with a bunch of nobodies at the time. And um, yeah, it just caused the. Most people that go to NASCAR because NASCAR pretty much like divided and conquered because they helped the, the they they helped the IRL get more oval yeah. tracks by doing like ticket bundles and stuff. So like oh if you know people who buy the NASCAR um, season pass or whatever they get a free IRL ticket and then once they stop doing that people stop going to IRL races. That's why the ovals went from like sixty thousand people on a good day to like six thousand on a good day. Exactly, and that's why they are and. Today they are still recovering from that because it was a massive hit. Yep. I, I mean, at least they recovered a little bit considering. And here's the funny part: but that whole rivalry between IRL and Cart. At the beginning, it looks like Cart or not Cart. Um, IRL has won because you know they mm -hmm. because they uh, got all their tracks like and they took some of the tracks but not all of it from Cart. And then the the weird part is that. This year, I felt like Card has won in a way because of Penske, uh, what's it called, uh, bought the series. Mm -hmm. So technically, and also, the, and also the structure of the series today, it's much more road track based and oval yeah, so, track so based. It's, so it's technically Card all the way, and the car shape looks like a more close to the Card style of cars than the mm -hmm. RL type of cars. It's basically it took a while, but Card basically won. But even it's then, but nobody really won at the end of the day. Like the series was, the the series pretty much just went back to like, yes, it went back to essentially to what Cart was. But like, dude, Cart used to have like twenty races, twenty one races. They used to travel around the world and shit. And like, basically, if you want to compare it to what what era of Cart the current. IndyCar series is that it's more like the early 90s car essentially not with like the mm -hmm. star power but more like the schedule like we, exactly. we, end, we end at Laguna and we only have like 15 16 17 races like that's not really a win in my opinion yeah the IndyCar only has 16 17 races and with lots of double headers so yeah. it's like the variety of tracks is still small in my opinion yep I mean but I don't help. I don't I don't think they need to go international, but use more tracks they have in the United States. Do also, it. and... Uh, sorry. Yeah, IndyCar, oh no. Oh, 
Fuck, I hit the curb. No. Oh. Oh. Ooh. No, we might have to we might have to get the CRZ. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, do this it. sucks. I wanted to win this with the Prius. I thought we, it would have been possible, but if we win this race, it is possible. We could we could probably win the championship still, but we're losing too much time on the straightaways. And the S's we're gaining a fuck ton of time. Everywhere oh, else yeah, we're just losing. Um Andrew, why are we driving the Prius? Well, because the Prius was racing Super GT, he decided that we should race in this car. Um, yeah. Did not know that was a good idea or not, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think going to Canada, it's a possible move because I think they already have the established, reestablished this stuff enough to at least go to Canada. I think they already go to Canada for in the streets of Toronto, I don't recall correctly. Or not. It, 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 they and, are, they are. Ender, you're more than welcome to hop in the conversation. We're, just, we're not necessarily talking about one topic. We ju we're just chatting and shooting the shit. Same goes for you, Reaper. I actually have something to talk to you guys about something about Super GT. Because this was actually a funny story that I heard. So, you know of uh, Good Small Racing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, recently they had their new livery for uh, the next season, the 2021 season, which are evo uh prius or not the evo prius the um the, the evo kit of the the mercedes um they decided to do a time attack in fuji because of the recent um issues that they had in the like the like the recent series at fuji that they're not as quick i guess or they just want to do a time attack they decided to do a time attack at fuji uh yesterday or two days ago do you know what happened to the car before they even decided to do a time attack? What? Apparently, because it was all open to the public, which is why there's so many cars around, apparently a drive like a car from a person of, of the general public hit the uh, car and basically broke the car. Oh, after, no way. After, it, it was, it's not even a day and the car is already broken. So they oh, had to fix. It. Bad. So they had to fix. So they had to fix this car, and did what they did. They actually had to take out one of the pieces from the the 2020 car to the 2021 car. So you might see some really. They basically Frank, Frank, Frankenstein the uh, the uh, the Mercedes, and they can't, they can't beat the uh, time that they wanted because they want to be the, be the fastest time in GT300 on Fuji. Mm hmm. So, and I'll probably look for a picture, but it's really bad. Or the show car that's here in the States right now is what you're referring to. It, it's not, it's not, it's not even a show to... car. It's a, it's the actual race car. It's the actual car. Yes, oh, it is. It is a real race car. Cause you, you know, you like every time when they do like, you know, they want to do a test or something like you hear the United States or anywhere they'll do like, you know, they'll bring the cars or do like a few apps and stuff and they'll show it. Uh huh. It's basically this, but then you just uh, some guy probably either by accident or something hit hit the the Mercedes. So yeah, that's a bit awkward. Well, when, when I when when they had the last pop up, or it wasn't even a pop up, it was just they were selling Good Smile merch at that store that they were they were at in Orange County. Like when I saw the car, dude, and I took a picture of it, I was just like, even if it's a show car, even if it's a real race car, they, just because of the just because like I care too much and then just like being at races for so much and just being in, in the pits you know whether it's like you know local late model racing and shit i'm cutting the chicane by the way i don't care we need to win i like this conversation too much and i don't want to edit it out <laughs> 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 it's great it's great. oh damn I cheated. That, is, that that is perfect <laughs> nice I we yes. win yeah <laughs> i like this, yeah. Co this conversation is too good <laughs> to cut out man seriously um, anyways, um, but yeah, Ender, if you want to join the chat, you're more than welcome to. I can add you right now while we're, um, while we're in the menus. Um, regardless if it's a show car or a regular car, I'm always super careful, dude. Like, when it comes to, like, standing next to the car, sitting next to the car, whatever, dude, it doesn't matter. I'm always, like, really, really, really conscious about what I do around it. 30 points behind the leader now. Motegi awesome. might be hell, but the S's should help us out. I'll send you a picture of the uh, the car damage. Yeah, uh, he doesn't have too much uh, straightaways, to be fair. 
Oh, that's true. It's All just right, the, the back stretch is really long. Uh, here's the damage and the, uh, the, 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 the how they fixed it. Oh my it's god! Yeah. Ouch. Okay, dude, th that's an uh, that's that's from a car collision then. That's. Uh... Yeah, that's car collision. So that so basically a, a, a public car hit the car, the race car. Freaking yikes! I don't wanna be the person who did that because imagine you're receiving on your house the the bill with the <laughs> very cost. Dude, you <laughs> would be that, and then basically you'd be forever known as the person who hit the actual GT300 car. That they're just showing too, like they're just trying because you know they can't really show the car at uh, Tokyo Auto Salon because it's canceled because that's where most of the cars would be shown there. Right. So they had to put it in the racetrack and do some stuff there. I'm pretty sure they are, are pretty much considering reconsidering that they're not going to do that in again. <laughs> oh man, and this is why I'm always careful when it comes to like car just going in the garage of like if going to like racing events because you do not, I repeat, do not want to break a car. Wonder what their insurance thought, dude. Sob, I would hate to know. Yeah, exactly, dude. Like, okay, whenever, I, during the Long Beach GP weekends, whenever, like, Roar on the Shore happens, which is, like, when the Wednesday event, I remember one time, dude, there was a, dude, there was this Argentinian guy who does, like, Sports Car Club of America stuff, you know, he races, like, uh, he, you know, he races, like, like, a C5 Corvette, like, spec Corvette racing or whatever, and then he also bought from, I think, Dan Gurney himself, before, you know, rest in peace, by the way, um, an original 1996 All -Ameri uh, Eagle All-American Racing kart chassis, the one driven by, um, I think it was Juan Manuel Fangio Jr. or the second. I think it was like his nephew or something. I'm not sure. Anyways, I remember specifically, dude, this one stupid girl, dude. She was like trying to take a selfie for her for the gram. And she literally sat on the car's mirror and broke the mirror, dude. I was like, oh, no, dude. And like straight up, like, dude, he had every right to be like, he basically was like, you fucking idiots. And like, she just kind of looked at him like, 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 why are you yelling at me? And I'm just kind of like, look, like, I understand you're pissed you know like, i understand that like you're pissed that he's getting mad at you but like why would you think that's a good idea to begin with like to sit on on a car like that's not yours like regardless re what... regardless if it's like a classic or a car that you can get a replacement part for it's just it's not your car don't like that that's just not only irresponsible but disrespectful to whoever owns it you know, you know, there's a reason why there are ropes around the race cars during a race weekend. Yeah. For that not to happen. For the gram, He's, Ender. Uh, it's basically for the, okay. for the gram. Yeah, exactly what LC said. It's someone else's property at the end of the day. Regardless if it's... Regardless of what it is, dude. It, like, if it's if, if it's a worthless car or a valuable car, it's somebody else's property. You don't exactly. treat someone else's property with disrespect. Exactly. It doesn't matter how much it costs. It's some something that other person loves and cares about. Man, you got you hate to see that when that happens. Hate it. Come on, push me, push me. No, don't, don't, don't let off. Personal belonging. Yeah. You might have seen that person, um, LC. Maybe at Roaring the Shore. Like may, you might have seen their Corvette. I don't. I don't remember their name, but um. If you see a, a spec Corvette next to an All-American Eagle Champ Car chassis, then uh, yeah, that's um. Oh, it's that one. Yep, it's that dude. Oh man. Yeah, Reaper, shake my head. Yeah. There's yeah. a reason why. There's a reason why race teams are not as trusting sometimes when it comes to towing cars because they do not want to have their, you know. Very expensive race car be damaged and you're gonna if like especially before or after a race. Yes. Because imagine the awkwardness that you had to deal with that. And it's like and, there's one thing you damage. Okay, it's bad, but damage a car, race current car because good or not, they have replacement parts. Oh yeah, yes. what part yes, was that? It was much the rear worse. Mirror is oh. to damage a car that it is from another era that probably doesn't have any replacement parts so they will have to try to find a way around to repair, repair the car 
and here and I do I don't want to go through a, like a rant because you know. But oh, for feel me, free to. You, well, welcome I, to. I hate. Just I hate. Wait, okay. I know, but um, we, uh, for me, when I take pictures with cars, I had to be very careful because oh, I always right. see dumb. I already see dumb people try to like you know they'll either sit in a car or uh, what's called or they'll like you know sit in a car or stand on the car because of the cloud and everything and I hate that so much because it's not people said oh it's just a car it's their car like please you cannot like like and this is why I always ask people like if I, if I want to take a look on a car for example like, say for example that good small short car I would just ask like you know can you help me open the door or lift up the hood? Because if I do some stupid with car, guess what? That's embarrassing. Yeah, and like we said, it's their property, so you don't want to damage anything. Exactly. I think he, only one time I took a picture of the interior of the car, and I was like, uh, can I take a picture of the interior of the car? And the, the person opened it, I was like, almost shaking myself, took the picture, and, and left. Yeah, it was like a corporate, uh, I guess, that... For you, maybe kind of normal, but here it's very rare to have and, one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's understandable. Like, well, I can imagine that you don't see Corvettes in Brazil every day. So here, nah. you, they're they're pretty common. Even even then, they're still it's still a Corvette. So like, I mean, it's same for here in the states where I see like a a McLaren or you know something expensive. Because while it's common around right here, it's like. Or not common, but like it's when you uh, when you go to like LA and all that, and then I'll because sometimes I'll go with my mom. Uh-huh. I would always when I went to the track day uh, last year at Interlagos, I was so disappointed with a 750s LT, I guess, one of the long tail mo- models that McLaren have because it's so damn silent. <laughs> it's like <laughs> oh, it's the boy. car like. In no biggest Star disappointment whatsoever. of your life. By the yeah. way, uh, and, uh, and then you see behind him a Porsche 911 GT3 RS with the open exhaust yelling <laughs> like a, <laughs> like something straight from the heavens. The seven trumpets all at once. <laughs> <laughs> seven trumpets. Just, I love just... it. Also, the rubber banding is kicking in heavily. Like the. The AI is slowing down so much. The, the game is showing me mercy at this point. Yeah, the yeah. the game slows down on the second to last lap. Yo, and... Ethan, yes, it is a Freer's race car. Yeah, Ethan, <laughs> you know it. It's a GT300 car. Uh, Reaper, you're mostly going to run to an uh, it, water car, uh, K car, in, well, thousand uh, hour K car in um, California, most of parts of America. It's just how it is. True. But for me, as a car person, I always get pretty excited about, like, you know, seeing a, you know, a newer, or not new car, but like a very expensive and rare car, because it's just me. Yeah. Bro, I'd love to see a gay car here. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 I ignored John. My bad, John. Um, The IndyCar race here was okay. Like, it was pretty much just Scott Dixon dominating willpower in second. It was just, and then there was like a, Weird start at the beginning, but that's really about it. I feel like the DW12 would have been good around here because the DW12 made a lot of the racing at the more boring tracks with the IR07 more interesting. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of an if and or but thing. But anyway, fast. Fast. we went without cheating fast. this time. Hooray! <laughs> yeah. John Paul de Oliveira race the Motagi Road Course race for IndyCar. Yeah, dude. I remember. I was just like, who the fuck is this Overa guy? I was like, all right, whatever. He's running for Conquest. Meh. And now, yeah. and, and, and here's the thing. Now and now you know who he is. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm just like fucking God, the, the Brazilian Japanese driver, not Japanese, and, and but like Brazilian driver in Japan guy, like awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And he also raced on the team in Paul for years and years, and I was like always cheering for him to win the title. He almost every year, uh, oh, Gani yeah. one or two rounds to go with chances to win the championship, and he would always lose. Well, <laughs> here's here's the thing for me. I like JP at times. It's just that a certain might be crying, especially at that one race at like at Suzuka this year. I do have doubts on him. 
because he well, gets I don't mean, dumped on him. Why? Well, yeah, because, I was about to ask. Uh, it's because he gets like I know this is a meme, but I noticed that he gets pretty aggressive at certain points, and he gets he screws himself at himself some points. Like I've seen him both GT500, GT300, but I got used to him, and he's actually not that bad. Uh. Zuzuka, I would probably show it, mention you about that because this it happened this year, and I was like kind of worried about it if he's gonna make his car quit, his uh, his GT300 Nissan. Yeah. But in a few, in in a few races later, he did get better and he ended up winning the championship. So that was already gone. But it, there are times where I questioned him at first because of you know moves. But then again, Super GT, you do um, you sometimes get pretty desperate, and sometimes things like that happen. Yeah, I mean, the, the standard of racing for Super GT for me well, has always been very aggressive because it's a multi-class race with cars with lots of downforce. So whatever move you gotta make, you gotta commit to it. Yep, so. exactly. I was just gonna say that too. Um, John, I would rather race the Norse Life because I feel like it'd be an easy win with this car around there because the AI would probably be bad. Um, going back to the K car topic or key car topic, whatever. Um, the only one I've ever seen on, on the street was a Subaru 360 van, and that was in San Diego. So I'm pretty sure it was a dude who brought it from Mexico or something. Or maybe he just brought it from the 25-year rule. Because it, I couldn't see the plate, but I think it had like a, um, it had one of the Mexican state plates on there. But, um, dude, it was so nice to look at. Like, dude, it was it was red, dude. It, oh, my God, man. I wish I took a picture, but it was one of the most badass cars I've ever seen in my life. It's a K-car. Yep, K-van. <laughs> In particular, yeah. Oh, I, I would love to see to to have like one of the either Nissan B1 or Nissan Pao PAO. Dude, yes. Um, I just it... wouldn't want to have in Brazil because one of their names, one of these cars has it's a very. Bread. <laughs> no, no. Well, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, oh, well, well, Pao is bread, <laughs> isn't it? Pao is bread, but you can also speak as Pao. Which, which is the exact way you say dick in Brazil. <laughs> oh. Hey, I wow. mean, look, I could import a Mitsubishi um, Pajero, or, or as in Spanish, Pajero, which means masturbator. So, like, <laughs> so oh, yeah, I, I no. know that's exactly the same pain oh, we have with that car. That's you, why I was called a Montero it. here in the States. Or yes. you could you, you could have a Mazda, a la puta. <laughs> <laughs> Mazda whore, yes. <laughs> Very classy. Yeah, dude, he's a mess like a la puta. <laughs> I was like, no. No, just, why? Just... You back to you. You, if you're going to use a word from another country, you always check it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to import that car. <laughs> it's basically, con basically, context always matters. Yes, absolutely. Definitely. Yeah, NASCAR fan, I bet, I bet, dude. I mean, it's just kind of like me with seeing like big pickup trucks or muscle cars like mustangs and shit i imagine that like in europe maybe seeing a dodge ram or a toyota tacoma or like a ford f-150 would be cool over there but like it's kind of just eh, over here or in asia like but wait, I, I, I get you can you cut can you cut the <laughs> second to last corner because i actually think you could do that oh yeah, yeah you can but because of the nature of the track because it's it's easily the, the shortest track and like the least amount of straightaways um we can win this easily. All we need to do is beat the Arai uh, the Garaya on track because we're five points behind. Where's the Garaya? Second place. One? The Arc Seven oh. leading. Oh. Okay. Can afford a Viper? You could afford a Viper powered Ram. Really? Well, Actually, wait. Now. Yeah, that's the um the SRT model. Oh mm. right, 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 right. That oh, thing was right. insane, dude. I wouldn't own a Ram because I don't have a reason to drive a big truck. But, um, yeah, dude, the, the, those trucks are pretty badass. Yeah. If I were to get a truck, I, I I'd know. get a Lightning, honestly, an F-150 Lightning. Those yeah, are Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they, they want that. I love the 150 Lightning from the early 2000s. The one in uh, GT4? Yeah. One of that my one. friends actually has has the Lightning. Like, not one of my friends, one of my brother's friends. And, dude, it, it's silver, unfortunately, not blue, but... It's freaking gorgeous, regardless. Doesn't matter mm -hmm. what color. Mm. Oh, the Dodge Tomahawk Motorcycle concept. 
<laughs> no. What, what the us. fuck? Okay, we're cutting the chicane. How the fuck did I roll a Prius, dude? <laughs> How did I roll a Prius? <laughs> <coughs> Oh, you need to say that replay. Holy shit. Can somebody shit. clip that, please? Wow. Samir. Go back to my car, Samir. So, um, yeah, oh, I was going to say, GTFX, did it roll? Can, yes, it did. Can, can, okay, somebody please clip that, and we're cutting the chicane. That was bullshit, dude. That was straight bullshit. I don't care if I get hate comments on YouTube being like, you cheated during the championship. I'm driving a fucking Prius. This is for your entertainment, damn it! Yeah, this is the re this is the real fail race moment because you just bloody flip the foreign car. How did you put me for I don't. How? I don't know. I guess I guess the curves. Even then, th th that doesn't make any sense. You, we need to see the replay after this because I don't know what how. That's got to be the thumbnail if we end up winning the championship and not having to drive the CRZ. Because if I lose <laughs> this, I'm not driving the Prius again. I. This is a meme car, but I hate it. I already hate driving this. The, the oh. gearbox is what's screwing me up. Because it has <laughs> gears, but it has gears, but it's only an automatic car. It's like a, it's like a freaking CVT or some shit. I don't know. How oh, the hell? Wow. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I, sorry, game. But fuck turn. you. I'm cutting the chicane. I don't fucking care. Oh Man. god. Oh Jesus. What the hell? <laughs> oh my days. Holy hell. <laughs> wow. Sun <laughs> mirror. Someone, someone say that. That's got to be one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Uh, uh, Kate, you still have time for adding this clip to your. 2020 best moments edit. Oh yeah, I haven't even I haven't even started that. Literally for my 20, I'm not doing a clip compilation. I'm doing like a I, I might do a cl clip compilation. What I'm doing mainly is my 2020 why it was the best year of my life video, and then um, when I talk about reason number whatever, which is getting back into streaming, um, that 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 will be one of the clips for sure. I'll, I'll add that in because basically <laughs> I'm going to be adding the fun moments, which is dumb shit like this, and then the serious moments were like winning Nurburgring in Super Cup, getting my first top six in Super Cup or top split in general, um, maybe uh, leading Petit Le Mans, um, winning round 29 of the of Nations Cup, it's shit like that basically. That's yeah, the, yeah, that's bet. the plan. Please bet jump those two cards at the bottom like that. that I'm not jumping. I'm not trying to get airborne here. I'm just trying to cut the chicane so I can win the championship because of. That was so unfair. <laughs> no, please eat it. Jump I'm not it. eating it. I'm going to I'm going to be as precise as I can be. Oh, really? I want to see this. Come on. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. No. No, 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 no. Please no king come on. <laughs> fuck. No god damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh god. Save, save the replay first because that deserves a save. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yes, yeah, someone's gonna scream karma in the comments. Well. <sighs> go, go for it, Ender. <laughs> okay, so you know what? We need to finish third to unlock the GT500 championship, so I'm gonna do something <laughs> man versus nature. I'll have to see that after this is done. So we finished second <laughs> in the championship at least. <laughs> Dude, how the fuck? Did we only did we at least unlock the GT500 series? Because um if we did, I'll i I'll say what I'm gonna do right now. <laughs> oh my god. That, this, I told you you were gonna eat it either oh, way. Sake, I call man. that. Shut up. <laughs> You fucking jinx me, you asshole. Did we unlock the series? Yes, we did. Perfect. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to do it for, for people watching on YouTube. I'm going to do a jump cut. You're going to... It might go out of order here. It's going to go out of order, but... um, I don't know what percentage we're going to be at, but um, I guess we're going to look at the percentage when we, when we finish... 
when we finish this recording session essentially because i'm gonna go off screen i'm gonna buy a standard car just max it all up i'm gonna win the championship off screen because this was way too funny and awesome of a conversation to edit out so um yeah uh i'll do a jump cut now you know i just realized something here so this is the jump cut to round number one i know i said i was gonna do the championship screen but i just realized something this is a good opportunity for me to show off the b-spec mode in this game so i went ahead and bought uh the super impreza and um i went ahead and basically just completely maxed it out i'm just gonna quickly show off the b-spec mode here in gt6 because it's not really relevant in this game so in b-spec races you set the pace at which ai driver drives and tell them when to make a pit stop you can issue real-time commands to your AI driver holding down the R1 button, which, by the way, completely breaks the mode, in my opinion. I think that's stupid. Like, GT5's a, um, B-Spec mode was perfection, in my opinion. This, however, is kind of dumb. So, it's like G it goes back to GT4, where you just set the pace into one just specific area. So, my own pace is the driver just going at his own, you know, leisurely pace. Push his pace is he's pushing a little bit harder. Push it hard means he's going for, like crazy overtakes and stuff and when you hold r1 you can press any of the face buttons to make the driver continue to accelerate make him drive behind another car force him to overtake or hit the brakes and for me this breaks the entire mode because like i feel like the whole purpose of it is like to see what the you know you're giving the driver commands and basically you, you're seeing what he does like you're putting him you know i, I guess the best way to explain it is like in GT5, when you give him commands, you're increasing his pressure, and that pressure is essentially causing him to make more mistakes and stuff. Whereas in this game, by you controlling the, the what the driver does with the R1 button, you're essentially just playing. You're, you're playing a spec just without 100% control of the car itself, which is kind of stupid in my opinion. But regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and just do B spec mode for the championship here, and just um. Allow Beast Pick Bob to um, get the win in um, the Walk Hollywood Ghetto Rally Subaru Subaru, which is why I chose this car in particular. Anyways, jump cut now. Okay, there we go. After one jump cut, we're we're champions. Um, I didn't win Motegi with Beast Pick Bob, but um, it doesn't matter because we had already won Motegi in um, in our original attempt with the Prius. But that was our first place trophy. And we get 95,000 credits. So we, honestly, we made back more credits because of the fact we did this championship again. But, um, yeah, like I said, you're going to see it's going to be a bit out of whack, a bit of out of order with um, the amount of money we have in the next, it's only the next two episodes. So the GT500 championship and then also the real circuit tours um, or the world circuit tours, whatever the fuck it's called. But, um, yeah, there we go. That's um, all stars acquired. It's a clean sweep. Not obviously on our first attempt, but clean sweep of the G Super GC300 series. But um, that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this LP video of GT6. Next time on the... Uh, oh my god. I'm recording this like at midnight, so uh, I'm pretty tired. But anyways, next time on GT6, we will be taking a look at the GT500 championship. So stay tuned for that.